So you're excited about the idea of flipping items online, but there's one question you can't seem to figure out. What exactly should I flip? Nobody wants to waste time trying to sell a dud. So to save time and energy, I'm going to share 15 of the best things to flip and how to get into the flipping game. Stay tuned. If you're new to the channel, hey, I'm Sean from Sailhu. At Sailhu, we have helped thousands of entrepreneurs around the world build five, six, and seven figure stores. Before we get started, I want to remind you guys of the lucky draw this month, where you'll have a chance to win a one year free membership to Sailhu Directory or Sailhu Dropship. All you have to do is comment below and tell us what is the biggest issue you're currently trying to solve in your dropshipping journey. At the end of the month, we'll choose one lucky winner and announce that person in our latest YouTube video. Now let's get back on topic. Let's start with the 15 best things to flip. I'll also cover how much profit each item can potentially earn and the best places to source and resell them. The first item you can flip is vintage clothing and accessories. Old is truly gold and vintage clothing is a prime example of this. In a report by ThreadUp, the vintage market is set to reach $168 billion by 2024, with a notable fraction being vintage clothing. The estimated profit margin you can make selling vintage clothing and accessories is 50 to 100%, so it is very profitable. And because people love the thrill of discovering a one-of-a-kind piece, they are willing to pay big bucks for it. If you want to sell vintage clothing, start by sourcing low-priced vintage clothing at thrift stores and garage sales. Then resell them on platforms like Etsy, Depop, and Vinted. The next genre of items that is profitable to flip is toys and games. In 2022, the market value for toys and games was worth $291.72 billion and projected to reach $469 billion by 2027. And the estimated profit margin selling these items is 30 to 80%. Toys and games are great to flip because parents often like to buy secondhand toys to save money rather than buying a pricey new toy for their kids. If you want to sell toys, start by sourcing flippable toys from thrift stores, garage sales, and online marketplaces. The best toys to focus on are limited editions and rare toys, such as action figures, Lego sets, and vintage video games. To sell, start on platforms such as eBay and Facebook Marketplace. Now, if you're tech savvy, consider flipping consumer electronics. In 2022, households spent an average of $1,481.60 every year on them, according to PIRG. Also, the estimated profit margin on electronics is 20 to 50%, making it profitable for resellers. If you want to get into selling these products, try selling secondhand electronics like smartphones, tablets, laptops, and gaming consoles. Craigslist and Facebook are go-to markets for finding quality electronics to flip. But before you list anything for sale, spend time inspecting your item. Is it functional? Are there any defects? Have you reset it to factory settings? All these questions play a big role in its ability to sell. Once you've found an electronic to sell, check out places like eBay, Diply, and even Facebook Marketplace to sell to local buyers. The next item you can flip is furniture. So long as we need something to sit and lie on, furniture will always be one of the best things to flip. Also, the estimated profit margin for furniture is a juicy 50 to 100% because furniture tends to have high perceived value. And if you want higher profits, focus on refurbishing or upcycling furniture. To do this, seek easily restorable items and use DIY skills to enhance them. Simple touches like sanding and applying wood oil can greatly improve many pieces. Once you are ready to sell your furniture, do so through eBay, local consignment shops, or even at flea markets. If you're a bookworm, you're going to love this next flippable item, books. Books are a goldmine. They're cheap, easy to source, and can fetch a higher price if you land a rare gem. Estimated profit margin for books is 30 to 70%. Just make sure that you focus on first editions or rare books as they often yield a good profit. You can source such books from secondhand bookstores, online marketplaces like eBay, Aved Books, and Amazon, garage sales, and thrift stores. If you want to know how much a book currently sells for, you can download the free Book Scouter app. It shows you the current price of a book, so you can decide if it's worth flipping. The next type of item you can flip is clearance items. The clearance section can be a flipper's heaven. Here you can often find heavily discounted items that can be sold for a healthy markup online. 
estimated profit margin for clearance items is 30 to 100%. Selling clearance items is profitable. This is because the perceived value of the clearance item was once high, but now that you can get it at a steep discount, you just need to sell it to the same buyers who are willing to buy that product at its original price. To get into selling clearance items, search for popular branded items in the clearance sections of retailers like Walmart, Target, and Best Buy. If profitable after expenses, resell them on Amazon or eBay. The next item you can flip is watches. Estimated profit margin for flipping watches is 20 to 60 percent. The great thing about watches is that they hold their value well over time, especially Swiss watches. Many people treat watches as an investment, but you can also resell them for a price that's close to or even higher than their initial cost. To maximize profits, stick to high-end luxury watches. Online marketplaces like Chrono24 and eBay are ideal for both sourcing and selling. Just make sure that the watch you source is authentic, because there are a lot of fake watches out there. The next item you can flip is musical instruments. Remember the joy of playing an instrument as a child? Sadly, many kids outgrow their instruments and these cherished items end up gathering dust in basements. Big mistake. Instead, why not resell them for some extra cash? You can find them at thrift shops or online retailers like Reverb and Facebook Marketplace. Guitars and keyboards are popular choices as they have more demand compared to other instruments. Estimated profit margin selling musical instruments is 20 to 50%. If your instrument is from an expensive brand or has an innately expensive price, like flutes, you can sell them at a high price. If you want to get into selling musical instruments, make sure you know the popular brands for that instrument as it will vary depending on the instrument. If you're not familiar with musical instruments, start by paying attention to popular brands like Yamaha, Gibson, Fender, and Steinway as they can fetch a higher price when you resell. Next, we have designer handbags and accessories. Designer handbags are one of the best things to flip. Estimated profit margin selling these items is 30 to 60%. People love luxury handbags and accessories and are willing to pay big bucks to get the luxury brand even if it's second hand. Flipping rare bags like Hermes, Burberry, or Chanel can make you over thousands of dollars. To sell these items, source discounted designer items like handbags, sunglasses, or wallets. Poshmark and The Real Real are popular marketplaces to source designer handbags. You can also use them to gauge the selling price and see whether it's worth the flip. The next item you can flip is seasonal items. Anyone can profit from seasonal items, making them one of the best things to flip. The trick is in the timing, so you can capitalize on demand and supply. Estimated profit margin to sell these products is 20 to 70%. For great deals, snoop around clearance sections at big retailers like Amazon or eBay. But again, it's all in the timing. Research the best times to snag items at their lowest price to maximize your profits. Always remember to sell it when the demand is very high. One example is buying a camping tent off-season for a discounted price. Then as demand rises, resell them on platforms like Amazon, eBay, or Facebook Marketplace for a high profit. Flipping power tools and equipment can be a great idea if you get your hand on slightly used ones that still work well. These are items that don't need to be brand new to retain their value. Estimated profit margin selling these products is 20 to 60%. Now, power tools can be expensive when purchased new, so many people opt to buy used ones to save money. This opens the door for flippers to profit by reselling branded tools at low prices. You can source power tools from eBay or Facebook Marketplace. Cordless drills and chopping saws, especially when branded, sell pretty well. Popular brands like DeWalt, Makita, and Milwaukee are worth considering. Before listing tools, test drive and clean them to avoid any customer issues. If any defects exist, note them in the item's description. The next item you can flip is home decor. It's no secret that people are looking to spice up their home appearance. Flipping items in the home decor space can be an excellent idea if you can find hard-to-find items. Estimated profit margin is 30 to 60%. To start flipping home decor, search for home decor items such as mirrors, lamps, or decorative pieces that are unique in style. Thrift stores are always reliable for quality home decor, but don't stop there. You can also find some impressive deals on marketplaces like Etsy and eBay. Always, and I mean always, calculate your potential returns before you source an item. If the numbers make sense, get the ball rolling by reselling them on Facebook Marketplace or Etsy. The next item you can flip is board games. Despite our tech-dominated world, board games still hold a special place in many hearts. Fond childhood memories make board games highly desirable items. 
Estimated profit margin selling these is 20 to 80%. If you want to get into this, source vintage or classic games on sites like Amazon or eBay. You can also visit your local thrift store for any bargains. The next item you can flip is sports memorabilia. For sports fanatics, who hasn't dreamed of getting a player's signed shirt? Thousands of other fans create high demand for sports memorabilia. Estimated profit margin with these items is 30 to 100%. Autographed items, game one jerseys, and limited edition collectibles from famous athletes can demand high prices. Quality is crucial here. Only buy from reputable sources to ensure authenticity. Use platforms like eBay or A1 Sporting memorabilia to both source and sell. The next item you can flip is exercise equipment. When hitting the gym isn't an option, people turn to home workouts, which requires exercise equipment. If you find effective equipment that produces great results, you can be flipping them for a lot of profit. Estimated profit margin selling these is 20 to 50%. Exercise equipment can be extremely expensive, but people do realize that they don't need to be in perfect condition to work properly. If you can get your hands on used exercise equipment, you can be flipping them for lots of money. You can start flipping by selling your own equipment or buying it secondhand on eBay and Facebook Marketplace for cheap. Before reselling, clean and test the equipment to ensure functionality. To maximize sales, target the start of the year when people set health-related New Year's resolutions. Now you know the best things to flip, but how do you actually sell them? Well, I'm going to show you step by step. The first step is to start with what you have. One man's trash is another man's treasure. So before you reach for your wallet, start with the items in your home. Some of the best things to flip can be sitting in your attic. Probe your house for any items you could potentially sell. Create a sale box where you'll keep these items in. If you don't have anything worth selling, reach out to family and friends to see if they have any items you can potentially sell. Facebook Marketplace also has a free stuff section where you can pick up items for free. If there are no sale-worthy items in your local area, sourcing them is your next best move. Always remember the goal, buy low, sell high. This will keep you focused on finding items that you can actually make a profit on. There are many places to find items to flip. Thrift stores and garage sales offer unexpected bargains that you can capitalize on. With a bit of negotiation, you can source quality items for cheap and widen your profit margins. Browse online marketplaces such as eBay, Amazon, Target, Walmart, and Best Buy to source products. Before listing your items for sale, inspect them carefully. Is the item in good condition? Are there any signs of wear and tear that could lower its resale value? Does it need cleaning? Answering these questions will help you maximize your profits when selling online. Next, you need to calculate your profit. The best things to flip will always turn a good profit, and this means going beyond the cost of the item. Note that there are other factors to consider like shipping and selling fees which need to be considered in your cost to sell an item. Thankfully, there are platform-specific online calculators that automatically account for these expenses. While they aren't completely accurate, they do offer a better idea of how your numbers could look. Now you can choose a platform to sell it. This is where the fun starts. You're going to choose an online marketplace to list and sell your items online. Here's a list of the top platforms you can join. Feel free to take a screenshot. Start with one platform to get your feet wet. Once you've earned some sales and experience, expand to other marketplaces. A wider audience may attract more eyes to your listing, so you're more likely to pop a sale. Once you've chosen a platform, optimize your listing. First impressions matter, especially when it comes to your listing. To succeed in flipping, you need to know how to create listings that attract clicks and drive sales. So how can you achieve this? First, take clear, well-lit photos of your items from multiple angles and highlight any notable features. Next, use relevant keywords in your listing title and description to increase its visibility in search results. Also, make sure to price your items competitively so that you're able to make a profit. Also, write accurate and informative descriptions for your items, including the condition, measurements, and any unique features. Each platform is unique and some rules and features won't be applicable to others. Some research can help you familiarize yourself with the territory. If you listed a product and the customer agrees to buy your item, it's time to close the sale. Complete the transaction with the platform's payment system to close the sale. After that, it's time to ship. Package your item securely, print the shipping label, and send it out promptly. Provide the buyer with tracking information if available. Then rinse and repeat the entire process, but this time for other items you can get your hands on. After nailing the flipping process, it's time to turn up the heat. Reinvest some profits by sourcing other items to flip or resell. Also, refine your strategies, learn from experience, and expand to more platforms to boost earnings. This is how you transform your side hustle into a full-fledged flipping business. So the choice is now yours. You can be done with this video and do nothing, or you can apply what you've learned here to build a profitable flipping business. 
Whatever you choose, Sellhu will always be here for you on YouTube and with our e-commerce tools that allow you to find products to sell and reliable suppliers. Want to sign up to Sellhu? I'll leave a link to sign up in the description box below. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this type of content and want us to keep making videos like this. Now, if you want to learn about a very similar method to flipping, check out dropshipping. Dropshipping is another low-cost, effective way to make money selling products online. You can check out our video here to see some successful dropship store case studies and the products they sold. Thanks everyone, see you in the next video.